solved problems computation of missing items sales to net income problem compute the missing items below case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 case 1 sales 2000 case 1 merchandise inventory beginning 200 case 1 purchases 1600 total goods available for sale case 1 dash merchandise inventory ending case 1 300 cost of sales case 1 dash gross profit case 1 dash operating expenses case 1 340 net income loss case 1 dash case 2 sales 2000 case 2 merchandise inventory beginning 300 case 2 purchases 1300 case 2 total goods available for sale dash merchandise inventory ending case 2 dash cost of sales case 2 dash gross profit case 2 dash operating expenses case 2 200 net income loss case 2 0 case 3 sales 2000 merchandise inventory beginning dash case 3 case 3 purchases 1400 case 3 total goods available for sale dash case 3 merchandise inventory ending 200 case 3 cost of sales dash case 3 gross profit dash case 3 operating expenses 150 case 3 net income loss 50 case 4 sales 2000 case 4 merchandise inventory beginning dash case 4 purchases 1300 case 4 total goods available for sale dash case 4 merchandise inventory ending 200 case 4 cost of sales dash case 4 gross profit dash case 4 operating expenses 300 case 4 net income loss 100 case 5 sales 2000 case 5 merchant inventory beginning 100 case 5 purchases dash case 5 total goods available for sale dash case 5 merchandise inventory ending 400 case 5 cost of sales 1500 case 5 gross profit dash case 5 operating expenses 200 case 5 net income and loss dash solution formula sales is equal to merchandise inventory beginning plus purchases minus merchandise inventory ending plus operating expenses plus net income so in case one the total goods available for sale is equal to 1800 200 beginning inventory plus purchases 1600 total goods available for sale 1800 case one cost of sales is equal to 1500 1800 total goods available for sale minus ending inventory 300 is equal to 1500 case one gross profit is equal to 500 sales 2000 minus cost of sales 1500 is equal to 500 is the gross profit case one net income is equal to 160 gross profit 500 minus operating expenses 340 net income 160 case 2 merchandise inventory beginning 300 plus purchases 1300 total goods available for sale is equal to 1600 case 2 gross profit is equal to 200 that is operating expenses plus net income there is no income so operating expenses is the gross profit 200 in case 2 case 2 cost of sales is equal to 1800 this is 2000 minus 200 gross profit that is cost of sales is equal to 1800 case 2 merchandise inventory minus 200 here is some abnormal stock available in the merchandise inventory at the end 200 case 3 gross profit operating expenses plus net income 50 plus 150 is equal to 200 is the gross profit case 3 cost of sales 1800 that means 2000 sales minus gross profit is equal to 1800 cost of sale case 3 total goods available for sale is equal to 2000 that is cost of sales plus ending merchandise inventory 1800 plus 200 is equal to 2000 total goods available for sale case 3 merchandise beginning inventory is 600 total goods available for sale 2000 minus purchases is equal to 1400 is equal to 600 is the merchandise inventory in the beginning in the case of case 3 case 4 gross profit is 400 operating expenses plus net income case 4 cost of sales 
1600 2000 sales minus gross profit 400 is equal to 1600 is the cost of sales case 4 total goods available for sale is equal to 1800 that is sales minus merchandise inventory ending is 1800 is the total goods available for sale case 4 merchandise inventory beginning is 500 that is total goods available for sale 1800 minus purchases 1300 is 500 is the merchandise inventory at the beginning in the case of case 4 gross profit is 500 because 2000 is the sales and the cost of sales is 1500 2000 minus 1500 is equal to 500 is the gross profit in the case of case 5 net income is 300 gross profit 500 minus operating expenses 200 300 is the net income in the case of case 5 total goods available for sale is 1900 this is cost of sales 1500 plus merchandise inventory ending 400 is equal to 1900 is the total goods available for sale in the case of case 5 in the case of case 5 purchase is equal to 1800 total goods available for sale is 1900 minus beginning inventory 100 is equal to 1800 is the purchases finally these are the missing items as computed as per the formula sales is equal to merchandise inventory beginning plus purchases minus purchase and inventory ending plus operating expenses plus net income recap Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Accounts Lobby for various solved problems and lectures on accountancy.